All right, we get ready to be blown away. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Peter. Peter the Bear. And he has buttons for eyes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again. I won't say anything without my lawyer pointing. <laughs> Today, we are exploring the library of light and shadow. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Tabletop Troop. Tabletop Troop! Tabletop Troop! Troop! Perfect hive mind. That was fantastic. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be exploring the Shazari Desert, um, a fantastic mountain city called Arcos, and the secret library that lies beneath. So, uh, guys, let's meet our players today, uh, starting with uh, Nicola. So, I am Oshan, because when I was born, my parents tried to throw me in the ocean because <laughs> they thought I was a devil child. You oh. are playing a tiefling character, I am playing right? a tiefling with bat wings. Um, she's your typical goth, creepy child. She's just got right. um, like black under her eyes. You're not sure if it's makeup or real. Um, and on her shoulder, she's got a stuffed bat. Of course she does. Called Peter. A and stuffed bat. <laughs> Sorry, what's his, what's his name? His name is Peter. Peter the Bat. And he has buttons for eyes. And he keeps me safe because his eyes never close. And he protects me and he sees everything. Okay. This makes Peter sense. knows. It makes sense. It makes sense. That's Ocean. Okay. He's um, creepy as um, um, Just so uh, our viewers know, all our characters they are super young. Um, so we're not playing fully grown adults, um, hence the stuffed bat. Although some, some adults like stuffed bats, I guess. Is it stuffed or like a taxidermied bat? It's a, it was once a live a bat. bat. A taxidermied bat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's now... Oh, that's not cute. That's, but, creepy. that's, that's creepy. terrifying. Except it's Peter a taxidermied is, bat like, with Peter button is eyes. adorable. <laughs> How can you uh, say that Peter is not... Are you insulting my bat? I, I apologize. Let's move on. Vainan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Tell us a bit about uh, your character. All right, yeah, my name's Billy, and I'm an eight-year-old human boy. I've got no parents, and I'm very sad most of the time. Uh, but I've got a new family now that uh, helps me steal things, and they compadres in in the city. Yay! 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 What what does Billy look like? Um, hair he's, color, hair length. He's that's short. All. He's like short because he's you know young. He's short. And, uh, he's and his hair short. Hair. Dirty face. Fran, why don't you tell us about uh, it's Griff, right? Yeah, so my name's Griff. And as you can tell by the depth of my voice, I'm already 16. <laughs> uh, I'm already 16. <laughs> I'm the older kid and I, uh, I look out for the, for the youngins. <clears throat> Young. Make sure that they're protected. Uh, you, you're a bit bigger than that, than the, than the rest of the yeah, class. I'm yeah, a, I'm a whole, a half orc. Mm -hmm. I swing around two tomahawks that I fashioned out of some old bones and tin cans that I found in the trash. So cool! And, uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I look out for the kids, you know? They got, they, they got to have someone looking out for them. And uh, these muscles, they need to be used for good and sometimes bad. Sweet All right, JC, tell us a bit about uh, Chupi. Okay, so Chupi is a little Kenku boy. Now, for those who might not know what a kenku is, what do they look like? Uh, usually like a raven or a crow, uh, human or human person. Boy. Yeah, in this case, more raven. So he's a bit of a chonky boy. Um, he's wearing kind of sackcloth, patched, uh, very dirty brown clothing and a little cloak, yellow eyes, black feathers. Um, he does not, he can't speak words of his own or come up with sentences of, of his own, so he repeats things from other people okay. he, he might have heard, so his voice and accent changes all the time, so. Now, you guys are all um, roguish, roguish characters and speak thieves can't, right? Which is, a, mm -hmm. which is a code that thieves use to speak to each other. So how does that work with Chupi? He, he has hands and can do hand signals and that sort of thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I think but, thieves can't, can, can also be like, it's like Stumbles. slang, Stumbles. like Cockney right. slang as like well. Cockney slang, or so like just like ways of saying things. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? but also like le maybe leaving certain items out, like to say like this is a mark. Yeah, you know, like like 
This is an easy mark, so you'll leave like a red oh, like, mark. Like, like a Coke can on a rock. Yeah, exactly, exactly like that That's kind of thing. 100%. Yeah, exactly. In modern yeah. terms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no Coke cans in D&D. &D. Sometimes when you see a dead rat, these organs would be arranged in a certain way, and then you know... That's just you. That's, that's just, you. just you. Okay. That's like that's, that's like your thing. That's ocean can. I, <laughs> I really don't know why you're ocean. doing that. I have never seen that. Oh, okay. Well, I've never <coughs> it's seen really fun, like actually. So you just write words with the entrails. Yes. Dead animals. Yeah, the liver. That's terrifying. This is it. I scare you. Yes, yeah, terrifying. Yes, yeah, square. Rather horrifying. Anyway, <laughs> right, anyway, our, our, our adventure begins in the uh, Shazari Desert, <laughs> um, in the snow-capped peaks of the Thorn Mountains. Just below these peaks, the Falcon Falls cascade down towards the town of Arcos. It's um, it's carved into the side of a mountain valley, and the buildings are made out of mud, carved stone. But it's not a drab place. There's a whole lot of uh, colorful cacti flowering sh shrubs, uh, even though it's winter time. Um, previously, uh, the city of Arcos was ruled by the Wizards of the Night Gate. All of your characters are familiar with them. When you were younger, you studied in the Temple of the Night Gate under the Wizards. But um, unfortunately, the entire town was conquered, conquered by a minotaur named General Callus. His uh, nomadic tribe moved into the city destroyed the Temple of the Night Gate and all of the wizards that lived there. Um, the young ones were the only ones who managed to escape the four of you. And um, you then lived on the street as urchins, um, stealing to survive. Um, because magic was so frowned upon, um, no one wanted to take you in, except for Naledi, a white dragonborn. She took pity on you and saw your, your potential as, as thieves. She's a, a member of the Crooked Talons, the local thieves guild. Um, she also uh, moonlights as a singer at the Vertigo Lounge, which is her base of operations. It's called the most relaxing cliffside tavern in the world. It's literally on a cliff. <laughs> and uh, she sings, uh, nightly at least, uh, sometimes more than once a day. And while she does that, you guys work the room. Mm. Nicking bits and bobs. Nicking bits and <laughs> Nicking bits and bobs. Nicking all bits and bobs. And um, it's one of those nights tonight. The lady is, uh, is about to go on stage. But this time how, she... How's her voice? Like how... Like on... She's a baritone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And she can nail those notes? The, the low the, the low end, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, she wears a black hooded cloak, very theatrical. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like opera style singing that she does. Uh, Got a good she, voice. Um, she pulls you aside backstage and says that you guys are about to be initiated into the Crooked Talons and tonight you have a test. There's a single mark in, <laughs> in, uh, in the Vertigo Lounge, a woman with dark skin and white hair, uh, piercing blue eyes. What she wants is for each of you to bring a, a silver coin from that woman. How you get the coin is completely up to you. And she only wants one from each of you, nothing more. You have until the end of a performance. And um, yeah, you, got, you guys take on little roles in the Vertigo Lounge now and then. Sometimes you'll clear tables or, mm. you know, carry boxes or, or whatever. So you, you, you are, even though you are children, you, you are a familiar face in, in the Vertigo Lounge. So can we? Coordinate yeah. as in like steal four at once and then divvy it out, or is the task that we each need? Now, lady to... says when she comes back to this dressing room, uh -huh. each one of you must have a single silver coin. Okay. That's that's yes, the only instruction okay. from that woman. You can <clears throat> from that woman. You can trust us. Easy peasy. You guys are backstage, and um, what do you do? All right, so I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking we. Uh, we just go up to her, offer to get her a drink, and then get four yeah. silver coins as a tip. Well, all of us, you know what? I can... uh, so is the, the is this like a auditorium? Kind no, of it's a, it's a little pub, a little pub. Okay, okay. The side of the tavern is, is open air and looks is literally on a cliff. Oh, okay, um, okay. This is why it's popular with the Thieves Guild. You can see all over the city from here, all the little nooks and crannies, see where people are walking. So it's a good vantage point. And accidentally bump someone down 
over the railing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if, if someone's out of line or they don't want to pay their tab, yeah. Um, uh, and then there are, there are tables with um, drinks and food. There's a bar area on the opposite side to the, to the viewing area. And then a, a tiny stage, I would say no more than 20 feet by 10 feet. I look at you and say, that's a steep price. I know. I can always But it's not a steep price for good service. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, what, a, a couple of drinks is like a copper piece or something. I know. Yeah. Okay. One silver might be what you pay for an entire meal. Mm. Like, yeah, look, I'm not very that? intelligent <laughs> at all. Like, I've got a minus one. Got so, it, got it, got it. Uh, to me, that's like the... I'm, to me, I'm being clever right now. Mm. I'm like... I can always, you know, crawl under the tables like the other time that I did, and then I can go into the post without being seen. That, that sound good? Yes, I'm going to try to sell her my, my, my bones. Sell her your bones? I've got bones. I've got bones in your <laughs> body. <laughs> no, I'm not sure it's really painful. Body bones. <laughs> oh, not your bones, your bo bones that you've acquired. Yes, they're very nice and special, and I think she'll like them. Show me the bones. You take out these, like, dirty... You hear a round of applause <laughs> <laughs> as you take the bones out. <laughs> uh, from inside, um, the lady has finished her first song. On to her next All right, one. guys, stand Hold back, chicken. watch how it's done. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll in. <laughs> What's he like, doing? What's he doing? Oh, so you're just walking in? Yeah. So I wanna spot this, this lady. Okay. Can I make a perception check or make something a, like you, that? You actually don't have to. It, she's easy to see. Okay. Her hair is shockingly white and curly. Okay. But super dark skin, piercing blue eyes. That's what the, she, That's the mark. Yeah. That what's she mark. doing at the moment? She's sitting at a table, and she has a cup in front of her. Yeah. Okay. And she's having a sip. Okay. And is she alone at the table? She is alone. There is a there's a dog at her feet. Uh, it's like a wild dog. Mm -hmm. um, not not quite fully grown, but not a pup either. Mm -hmm. But the wild dog has a collar. Okay. And it's just sort of lying there with its I, head on its paws. At this point, I'm like, okay, shit's in action. Like this is what we do. We don't plan. We just fucking do yeah. shit. Um, I'm gonna cast Mage Hand. Oh, well, I also like get up to the table a bit closer, cast Mage Hand under the table, try and be sneaky about it, and then I'm gonna irritate the dog with the Mage Hand and try and lure him off. Okay. Okay. I kind of follow him. Griff. Which one? Yeah. Griff. Big Griff. I follow Griff, like kind of like just like creepily like behind him. The like, shadow. Like his little shadow. Okay. And no, I thought, whatever, whatever he plans to do, I just plan to like go sit next to her and stare at her. I'm just crawling on the <laughs> floor. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit and stare at her until she gives me any sort of attention. <laughs> All right, let's start so, with. So, so what I'll sorry, yeah, just, really? just to add to the picture, um, I see him trying to distract the dog, and I'm gonna use that opportunity to crawl on the floor, undetected, and get under the table, and then. Get my dirty little filthy urchin hands into her purse. Okay. <laughs> so the, the spectral kind of mage hand now just walks up to the dog so and like <laughs> pokes him. All right. And then like runs away and hoping the dog will <laughs> should get a ball. Okay, let's do. You don't have to make it all for that. That's just the cantrip. Um, you are. Okay, so I'm gonna. I was gonna walk up. Um, as I walk through the crowd, I'm going to snatch a little uh, bar cloth. Uh, see if I can find a little apron or something. Right, right, right. Okay. And then I'm gonna walk up to to I'm gonna just say, <laughs> excuse me, Miss. Um, can I get you uh, another drink? Uh, not right now. This oh. one is uh, still full. But thank you so much for your attention. That's no problem at all. Uh, I also do a bit of magic tricks. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see one? Mm. All right. Yeah. Have to. All right. Pause there. <laughs> um, Billy, let's do a stealth roll for your crawling can, around the ground. Can I give him advantage? Be oh, it's a stealth roll. Sorry. Okay, never mind. I was going to be like, because I'm distracting her. Yeah, you are. So I'd say a help action. Um, for... But also, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so he's helping me. Yeah, so you've got advantage on that. Hell yeah, let's see what my stealth is. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure the dog doesn't yes, interfere with him. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm 
I'm working on the dog here. So. Okay, Let's stealth see. roll, here we go. Plus five. Oh, that's jacked, that's I think. a little cocked. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do that again. 14 plus five is 19. That's what I that's get for stealth. Okay. Yeah. Um, Coolie boy. The dog is quite curious. It's it's a it's a young, useful, useful little dog. It's it's kind of crawling off. Um, you have managed to get yourself through his legs and under the table. Yeah. They're like under my apron. And like you yeah. apron up. <laughs> are sitting down. I'm sitting down, just staring at, at her, her table. <laughs> are you sitting at her table? <laughs> yeah. You just joined her. <laughs> I just joined her, just staring at her. Uh, I'm sorry. We have some. Interesting patrons who oh no no I'll, I, frequent it's okay I I love her yeah she's harmless yeah. hi hello you are very beautiful thank you so are you I love your wings thank you not a lot of people like my wings do you like Peter like button eyes it's so strange I love it oh I'm glad. I uh, actually blush. I, I like this lady. <laughs> <laughs> she has a darkness about her. You're familiar with the darkness. You can you can feel this. Not not evil. Not like, bad. Just, just yeah. <laughs> little girl goth energy. Okay, goth cool. Energy. <laughs> um, you are under the table. You have successfully um, managed to get the dog away using your mage hand. You want to do anything else? Um, I'll just keep distracting him. That's okay. Fine. Uh, Griff. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. You see to, that they're chatting. Yeah, I'm going to be like, I have my cups out. <laughs> <so. laughs> really? Billy, uh, Billy, Billy's under, un, like, just walked through you under your legs. Well, uh, guess I'll just do some magic somewhere else then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, please, please. Would you, would you okay. like to see the. His magic is really trick? good. Yeah, you should. Oh, you've seen it before? Um, you know each yes. other? Yes. It, it's nice. Nice. <laughs> I repeat. All right, but you also just standing there now. Billy, you yeah, said you were I'm, gonna I'm try just and. In the vicinity. Uh, so I'll I'll proceed. I'll do a perception check, okay. I guess, or you can see her, her pouch. In the, okay, I can see it. It's about eye level. Okay, okay. Then I'm just gonna do my sleight of hand thing. All right. She doesn't seem to have noticed you getting under there. Okay. Make a sleight of hand check for me. Okay. Oh, actually, wait. You make a magic uh, distraction uh, no, okay. first. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll try because it and, might assist. Him. Yeah, I'll try and do. So should I roll for it? Or are you doing just... a cantrip or what are you? No, doing? I was just going to use some sleight of hand. Um, my plan thing. was uh, okay. So I, uh, I take out my little cups and I'm like. All right, so get ready to be blown away. <laughs> <laughs> and then I take out like a little tooth and I put it on and I put, put it under one of the cups and I go. <laughs> uh, and then in the process, I'm going to like kind of slip it off the table so that it falls onto my lap. Got it, got it. Or like by my feet. Um, Make it all before that happens. Okay. Let's just see how well you. Also, I will use the sound of the things as like to assist with it's your... my it's my signal. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Come on! Oh, oh gee. <laughs> it's an eight. Oh. <laughs> it's an eight. <laughs> so <laughs> what I want to do now is I want you to do a performance check. So okay. Clearly the, uh, the magic didn't go very well, but maybe it was entertaining. Seventeen. Okay. <laughs> okay. You <laughs> you kind of mess up the part where you're supposed to knock yeah. the, the tooth away, but yeah. you just go. Oh. Yeah, I, I say... Don't worry about that, don't worry about that. I like, I like lift them up and I say, Oh no, where has the tooth gone? I've lost it. Can There's I... a round of applause. <laughs> There's a round of applause as the, the, um, the room yeah. explodes. Uh, but it's the because she was song singing. Is done. Because yeah. the song is done. It's not a good uh, one. Did you pop the I'm tooth going out? to bow as if I did. Yeah, I'm going to just be like, Here's the tooth. <laughs> and, uh, okay, then I'll leave it there. We Sorry, Cupid, you were going to say no, something? No, no, that's cool. Okay. Um, let's get Billy to make sleight his of sleight of hand. He's trying to steal the... So, do I roll one for each coin that I'm trying to get? Or... What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get four coins. Okay, so you want to Do you know it? the feel of, like, a silver coin? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you're going to take a I'm bunch of coins I'm just going to take a handful, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it doesn't get advantage because he's, uh, yes, he's you're assisted. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, that's a five. <laughs> um, that's oh, a four, my. so ten. You managed to get nothing. <laughs> Let's see. Like just a handful of lint. <laughs> you have six coins in your hand. Oh, but are they silver? 
Trio de Masova. Okay. Uh, what's the other one? What's um, the... Can you two make perception rolls, please? What, what's the other coin? <sighs> Whoa. Um, oh, wow, that's Dice bad. Jail, coppers. Okay, coppers. I'm Ten three. for me. I got a three. I'm just like... You as well. What am I running? This Perception. Lady. <laughs> Perception. Yeah. Oh, lordy lord. Mm. What is going on with these I'm dice? like, oh no, oh no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much for the magic trick. It was I, really... I'm gonna, I'm gonna come and see the situation is going. It's shit show. I'm gonna just like copy you and say come in like as if it's part of like an add-on to the act and like copy your voice and be like i'm good at magic tricks <laughs> oh the exact same voice okay. yeah, oh, yeah. That's what you uh-huh. this, this is, is my magic tricks. assistant she, she, she's this is my assistant <laughs> <laughs> and i'm gonna do this <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at magic tricks. <laughs> and I'm gonna. And thank you! And then I'm going to just literally pick him up and run away. And then I'm going to. While this is happening, I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion. Uh, minor Illusion. Minor yeah. Illusion. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, pop out the sa- uh, image of the same tooth that was in the previous magic act yeah. and go. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> As another distraction. As another distraction. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> any, any, any... I'm getting it too. I want to run now. I'm still just like staring at her being like, please be my mama. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> but... Uh, Help me. <laughs> when, interesting route. when I can tell that she's like, kind of giving me a bit more attention, I'm like... I'm going to give you um, advantage on that perception check yes. that you made that you I'm messed sitting... up earlier because you're paying such close attention to her. Okay, cool. Because so I'm also role. sitting like right next to her. And then meanwhile, Billy, what are you up to? You've got three silver coins yeah, so and I'm, three I'm, copper I'm, coins. I'm going for another hand. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the same roll. Exactly, wow. It's crazy. <laughs> Two threes. I'm, I'm, I'm in trance. Yeah. I'm in love. This is, this is the coolest, like... You just see hearts in front of you. Yeah, just like, m- mom. <laughs> Mommy. Mom. Sorry, Billy, you were saying? I'm gonna do another handful of coins. Okay. Uh, you do not have a. Bo- Wait. No. Oh, you tried to do a little trick, didn't you? Yeah, yeah right. I did Let's the minor see. illusion. Yeah, you, you came in. Jeez. I'll give you advantage on this one as well. Okay, well. Right. That's, that's right. That's right. That was such an awkward Yay. performance. Natural 20. <laughs> Yo, nice. I don't have to roll again, right? You don't have to roll. Again. <laughs> no. You have four silver coins in your hand. And you also remember that the instructions were very specific. Oh yeah. No more, no less. Okay. So you put the copper coins back. Back into the bag. Nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. One, two. What's up to two? Um it's one, two, three, four. Okay. And I don't need these ones. And I just kind of like chuck them back into the bag, <laughs> and I just crawl out of there. Uh, the woman says, uh, "It appears my drink is empty. If you could, oh, and thank you so much for the magic show." Of lovely. course, Ta-da! of course, yes. Mm. Let me get you. Let, what would you like, Miss? Oh, m- the same as what's in here. Okay, great. I'm gonna <laughs> pick it up and and then I'm going to wipe the table vigorously. <laughs> you. Take your cue to try and sneak away. Yeah. So do I a little stealthy? Yep. 19. Oh, oh, hey. that was almost yeah. Yeah. You are a ghost. I'm going to uh, pick up the cup and Chuppy under one arm. All right. How big is Chuppy? Like, Chuppy is like, what's it like three or four feet? Uh, the woman four introduces herself. Yeah. She says, my name is Azza. What is Azza. yours? My name is Oshan. Oshan. Azza. Can I sell you my precious bones? Mm, I don't have much money, but let me see them. And I take out these. You're gonna like, reach in her purse and Like wrong. all these, like but very, very tiny, like spines of like some kind of like creature. Like they're all like a, a variety of small, tiny little bones. Um, it's actually quite beautiful, but very creepy. <laughs> some of it still has some blood on it. <laughs> she notices the blood. She says, oh, these remind me of my mother. 
Oh. She was a fortune teller and used these. Oh, so this is valuable to you? It is valuable to me. Oh, do you want to buy them? Yes. I would. Oh. How much are how much are they? <laughs> One silver. One silver. One piece. silver. Yeah, she goes into a pouch and she's like, uh, hmm, that's strange. I could have sworn I had more silver pieces here. You guys are gone. Anyway. I get a silver. You get a silver. And um, then you like... also get to make an inside check. Ooh. That's the, yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Uh, what is that? Inside. Uh, <laughs> Ten. Ten. You're in love. <laughs> she, okay, she hasn't noticed that her coins are missing. Well, she okay. seems like she just forgot about it. But you get the feeling she's not as dumb as she looks. Okay. Can I um, make a deception check that she thinks she is actually buying very valuable bones? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> just the way in my creepiness. Ooh, 12 plus. Six. 18. 18, yeah. So she's like, wow, this creepy kid is actually selling something pretty useful. I think that <laughs> she, she genuinely has a sentimental attachment to the throwing of bones. But she's maybe got like a bit of an idea that something Don't fishy right. went down. <laughs> or she's in on it. As you're, oh, yeah. as you're carrying me to the bar and I'm sort of looking back on the situation like the opposite way, um, I see this shit going down and I look at you and I go, Something dangerous is afoot. You kind of scare me when you talk with such a deep voice sometimes. I thought I was supposed to be the deep <laughs> voice guy. <laughs> a couple more songs are completed. Um, the night goes on. Oh, oh, sorry, this is late afternoon, so mm. it's not evening yet. Um, Azza leaves and her dog leaves along with her. And uh, now Lady finishes the performance and gives you the secret mm. meet me in the back signal. Okay, wait, before we go to the back, I'm gonna gather everyone together and be like, okay, how many coins do we have? Uh, how many coins do we have? Oh, oh, um, oh you've got them, yeah? I, I've got What I tell you uh, about copying me when I One for you. I don't need Oh, yeah, you're not there. Are you there? You are there. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Did you leave? No, no, no. I'm... No, I'm gonna she gather, got, I'm gonna gather all gathering. of us. I'm gonna gather all of us. I just one for you. Mm -hmm. We have one Thank you, for you. Thank you, sir. You now have an extra one. We have one too many. Do we? Mm. Oh, because you took four. Yeah, and oh, she got another one. Because you're not. Throw it away! Throw it away! Perception Don't. checks everybody. Yeah. Damn it. Mm. Minus one. Mm. 15. Also 15. Uh, perception checks on this side? Mm. Um, 16. Uh, 19. Okay. Um, something weird about these coins, like, specifically these coins. Um, you don't recognize any of the, um, the symbolism on it. You know, usually a coin is based so on a particular... A local... It's not a local coin. Okay. You flip the coin and catch it and then you spin it on a table. It is not casting a shadow half of the time. Wow. So when it spins, What's happening? the shadow sort of comes comes and goes as well. Can I try and make an arcana check? <laughs> yep. Is this an illusory coin? Minus one, baby. Thirteen. It's a real it's a real coin. Mm. <laughs> you bite it with your you have tusks. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and yeah, and you still have an extra. The instructions oh, were specific. I thought I, I, I thought I could count, but I think I've messed up. I'm going to, I'm going to take the coin. Uh, so uh, the extra one. So right after we uh, would have left the table, I would have gotten everyone together, right? So that I, I take the extra one and I say, don't worry about it, I got it. And then I'm going to take her a drink. Okay, so we're rewinding back a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just as a, like a bit of a. So before she leaves, because um, this obviously was going to happen, I was going to take oh. her a drink anyway. Yeah. But I was just going to gather the peeps beforehand. Okay, you would not have gathered Ocean because she would have stayed yeah. at that table. But you would make a perception check to see if you noticed that she got a coin. 13? 
That's fine. Yeah. So, okay. I was pretty so you notice she got her own it. coin. Okay. And then you see Billy, cool. and you're like, okay, we've got one Bring extra. Bring them together. All right. Be like, uh, oh, Shan. She went and got herself her own coin. Oh, no. Billy, give me one of those. Okay. Ah, okay, it's good. It's not food. And then I'm going to... <laughs> I'm gonna walk away, right. and I'm gonna I'm gonna go get her a drink at the bar. Um, what is it? What's the drink? Uh, I don't know. I'm it's gonna. A, it's a wine. Okay, because I'm, I'm a kid, like I wouldn't really know. So I'm just gonna just gonna put it on the counter and oh, be right. like, bartender, please uh, get, one more get a refill. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's for it's for that table over there. I think she's got a tab. And then I'm gonna grab the drink. Um, and I'm gonna put it over, and as I lean over, I'm just going to a sleight of hand, trying to put it, slip it into her pocket. Okay, give me a sleight of hand check, and a perception check from you. As we land at the table, I copy her voice exactly as he puts it down and say, the same as what's in here. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Everyone okay? I got a 14. 17. No, okay, it works. Sleight of hand. Yeah. 14. Okay. Mm. She winks at you as he does it. Oh, really? <laughs> Here's your He's in drink, on it. He's in <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy. And, what? and welcome to the Vertigo Lounge. Is it on the applause again? All right, so we fast forward now. Um, so we are in the uh, backstage area of the Vertigo Lounge. Um, you guys walk in, and uh, you've seen a lady sitting where she usually does behind a desk in a this also serves as our office, the backstage mm. area. But you also see the woman that was your mark outside sitting in the office opposite her on the other side of she the desk. She was in on it. <laughs> yeah, she was. Uh, the <laughs> lady says, uh, oh. you're quite bright. Come in, come in, come in. Oh. Uh, let's see the coins. Show them the goods. Okay. Mine's kind Get of like coins? in Peter's. <laughs> Mine's in Peter's mouth. <laughs> Peter has my coin. And the lady looks at uh, she says, This is Azza. You've met her. She wanted to see what you guys were capable of. And apparently, while there's room for improvement, you uh, improvise really well. Uh, think on your feet. That's and right. Work together. Yeah. She. I, I won't say anything without my lawyer pointing. <laughs> <laughs> and said until proven guilty. Billy, we've spoken about this. It's not good. It's not a good excuse. Yeah. She uh, would like to Doesn't hire work. you, and um, there's a specific reason she wants to hire you. Maybe I should let her speak. Um, as I says, hi. Um, your your names, please. Uh, I've met Ocean, and you are. You guys, introduce yourselves. I'm assuming, yes. Yes. Billy. <laughs> and I'm trying to be cool, but I am flipping out. It's the first job. I'm super pumped right now. <laughs> so it's time oh to prove myself. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. As Name's it says, Griff. Um, sorry, what were you? Name's Griff. <coughs> Name's Griff. Griffin. Uh, yeah. All right. You like? You're ready for this? Yeah. Okay. As it says that she is a student of magic and travels across the Shazari, uh, collecting artifacts, studying texts, and. Um, Hidden inside of the uh, Temple of the Night Gate is a secret library. It contains a star map. Um, it's essentially a map of constellations from different positions around Shazari and um, is used for navigating. And in the older days, uh, for determining trade routes between various magical centers, um, this information is obviously very valuable, but she doesn't want to take it. She wants to copy it. The reason why she can't go and get it herself is that when the temple was destroyed, the head mage cursed the, um, cursed the area, well, the hidden part of it. Uh, the curse states that only a student or wizard of that particular school may enter. You guys, we used to be students there. We used to be students there. Um, the site itself is mainly rubble, but um, 
there's some excavation going on. The, uh, the Cal of the Bronze, the nomadic soldiers that have taken over this place, are trying to destroy any remnants of magic that are left there. So they're digging, finding things, shipping them off, destroying them, burning them, books where they can. Um, but um, as it believes that this particular library, because it's hidden and secret, will be relatively untouched. That's what she believes. Um, hmm. Also, the, um, the library exists in a weird metaphysical place. It exists both in this material world and what she calls the shadow realm, um, another plane of existence. And particularly around the full moon, the veil between those two worlds gets particularly thin. The coins that you hold will allow you, once you are in this place, to switch between realms. Yeah. Uh, should you guys decide to do this, just keep in mind that um, spending time in the Shadow Realm can affect your emotions in a negative way. And um, That sounds really nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is emotion? <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna. We, we've lost Ocean. Like, She's gonna be staying there. Like in like a negative. See way. You guys People later. tell me I get a little mad too quick. Sometimes you got some anger. Management yeah, things. I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> Average payment with no lady. Um, the, th the thieves guild must obviously get their share. You guys will get your share. But I think that this is about reclaiming the knowledge of your former teachers. And like I said, I only want to copy it. I will return it to you to do as you see fit. I copy your voice, uh, something that you had said to me previously. I go, Chupi, you're good at copying. And I, I produce like a little quill and things. And you guys know that I'm actually quite an expert at copying mm. things exactly. Uh, That's actually part of my, okay. my racial ability. Well, it's a good thing you asked us to do this because uh, Chupi, Chupi over here Chupi. is a pro when it comes to <clears throat> copying things. <laughs> That's right, sir. Okay, the entrance to the secret library is in inside the Temple of the Night Gate, but specifically in the Saffron Garden. There is a acacia tree um, in this garden. And Saffron when, Garden. And when the full moon hits acacia it... Acacia tree. Uh, former <laughs> students or members of the Wizards of the Night Gate will be able to observe the entrance to the hidden library. Um, um, can you repeat that? But just the, the part entire where, you, thing. where you say everything. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Actually, why don't you ask him? So I think it's pretty clear. Uh, I start, I start verbatim, word yeah. for word, perfect, everything, everything just in repeating. the same voice. <laughs> oh, the veil yeah, is we, in we always, the moon. We're always going to know the instructions. We'll just yeah. have to ask you to do it. Just rewind <laughs> with the remote. Just, uh, yeah, just to... <laughs> now let's fucking go. Rewind for it. A couple of things that you guys know about the, uh, the temple grounds, like I said, mostly destroyed. It is in a walled section of the city and those walls are guarded. So the only people that are allowed inside that temple section are workers who are digging rubble uh, and excavating and sentries. It's a classic. Break in, get the goods. Break, break back out. <laughs> Yeah. Break Somebody, back out. Kind of like your voice, we break, break back, back out. out. I have no idea what you're talking about. Break back out. <laughs> break back out. Please. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's just go. You sound like a little baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so Azza takes a coin and rolls it over her fingers. And each time it flips over, you see a change. It casts a shadow. It doesn't cast a shadow. It casts a shadow. It doesn't cast a shadow. She's explained to you... I noticed in, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, she has told you that when you flip it over on one side, you will be able to switch to the shadow realm, and on the other, you'll be in the material realm. Once you are in the, the secret library area. 
-hmm. or close mm -hmm. or close by. Very good. Can you guys all make a history or arcana check? For sure. Whichever is your highest. It's exactly the same for me. Minus one. Seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. What a solid four. Double eleven. Eleven as well. Okay. Um, Ocean clearly paid attention in class. You remember from your classes that the star map was hidden in an orrery. One of those. Um, sort of mechanical devices that has planetary bodies on it and shows mm. how they shift in relation to each other. Mm. The star map was definitely hidden in there, but you've never seen the library. None of you have. You were much too low level in the, in the wizard school. You also know that there's something about the acacia tree and entering into the shadow realm, but you, you can't quite remember exactly what it is. Mm. Maybe when you see the acacia tree, it might uh, spark your memory again. So there's a link between the acacia tree and the orrery thingy. That's a that's how no that's how we get that's into the get library to because oh. as soon as the moon shines on the acacia tree, okay, the library will be revealed. The oh. entrance to the library will be revealed, oh. and in the library is where the okay. orrery is. And there's just something else about the acacia tree that's Some, making, something about crossing. It's making Peter tingle. Correct. I think you guys have all wow. the information <laughs> that you need. Yeah? Yeah. My Peter so. senses are tingly. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as it gets up and says, well, I'll leave you to it. And she kind of. You can trust us. Her cloak. We'll get the job done. Bye, ma'am. Um, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> goodbye. Let's fucking go. And she waves, uh, says goodbye to the lady as well. And Language, so. Chippy. You notice that the dog was in the room the whole time. You're like, whoa. That's weird. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I pet him on the way out. Mm, cute. I hiss at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. They've left. Now, lady says, um, uh, can I, I have, just, can, out of habit, just go to Azza? Azza. Coinage be a coins, ma'am. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> the ancient life has been hard on some of us. Yeah, it's trauma. Now, Lady uh, reaches in the back and brings out a crate. She kind of struggles. It's a, she's getting on in her ears and puts it down on uh, the table and says, There is a potion for a healing potion for each of you kids in there. Please be careful. Oh, hold on to them for us. No. Okay, fine. Oh, Here, take dangerous. one. Everyone take one. You leave the Vertigo Lounge and um, have a look over the, uh, over the city. Pick out your little shortcuts and start scampering along the rooftops. It's quite a warm night, so um, you don't need cloaks unless you want to use them to disguise yourselves, or hide yourselves. You stick to the shadows. I would have gotten us some clothes. Yeah? Okay, so um, the four of you are scampering across the rooftops in the moonlight, which comes and goes, you know, as the clouds move over. It. Um, you make your way to a hidden nook where you can see the entrance to the wizard's gate, uh, the night gate area. It's being patrolled by two sentries. One is quite alert. He's got a spear. Um, his cloak is huddled up, even though it's not cold tonight. It's actually quite a warm night. And there's a second sentry next to him. Kind of seems like he's about to doze off. Um, you guys draw into the shadows and start scanning their movements, trying to predict where they're gonna go and looking for a place where you can make your infiltration. And we're gonna pause it over there and uh, we'll pick this up again, uh, again next time. Sick. Tables up, true. Tables up, true. Sweet.